Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Scoutings for Girls. Today, as promised, I will show you how to write your own custom functions in Python. But first, we need to answer the question, what is a function? We all remember functions from math and all the complicated formulas. For example, the one that calculates the area of the square. Math defines function as a relation that associates a set of possible inputs into a set of the possible outputs. But that's too abstract for us. So let's take a look at functions from the real world point of view. For example, how to make a cup of tea. You will need a cup, a tea bag, water to make it. So you'll take a cup, put the tea bag inside your cup, and then boil the water and pour it inside. Then you wait until the water changes color, take the tea bag out, and your tea is ready. There are quite a few steps to make a tea, right? And each single step is even more detailed. As you can see, in real world, we already use the shortcuts to define certain algorithms. For example, how to make a tea. So what is a function in computer science? It is a nice way to pack all the steps into one nice thing, one block of code, and then reuse it for any values you will provide, any combination of cup, tea bag, and water. Okay, let's go back to Python. So how we define the function? Each function in Python starts with the keyword def. It means that Python will know that we are starting to define the function. Then we need to provide the name. In this scenario, we will call it make t. Now we can provide some input to the function, our cup, tea bag, and water. Then we can close parentheses and type colon. As we already know, colon means that we are starting to define block in Python, and then we can define all the steps for our function. We just need to remember that in Python, we define the block with indentation. Let's open a file in our code editor. And let's start with some super easy function first. To start defining function, we type def, then we give it a name. For example, hi. This function will simply greet you. Now we open parentheses. Here should come all the arguments, all input we want to have. But in this scenario, we don't want any. So we can go ahead and close it with parentheses again. Now it's time for a colon. And we are ready to define the body of our function. What we want to do here is to print hi there and in the next line, how are you? Note that we have the same indentation, so both lines are inside the function. Now let's try it in console. We save the file and run it in console, like this, python3 and then the name of your file. In my case, it's python intro. Remember to be in the correct folder when running it from console. We need to be in the very same place as our python intro file. In my scenario, it's desktop. If you feel lost, make sure to watch my previous python videos. If we run it now, nothing happens. Why is that? This is because function is an algorithm or a sequence of steps. It's like a difference between describing how to make a T and actually making one. Let's open the file and execute the function hi. We do that typing name of the function. In this scenario hi and then parentheses. If we had any arguments, we would need to give them here. Function hi expects to get nothing so we could close parenthesis and save the file. Now let's go back to the console and type python3 and then name of our file. This time we have hi there, how are you displayed. Okay, but let's write a function that takes some input, some arguments. It would be nice if our hi function is saying hi using the name of the person. Let's open Python intro file again and let's change the file. We will add name as a parameter. We will place it inside parentheses. Now let's remove the body of the function and write once again from scratch. Let's say that in this function we would like to check if the name is Ola and then print hi Ola or if the name is Sonia, use 
hi Sonia greeting or say hi anonymous over voice. If that sounds unfamiliar, make sure to look at my previous video about conditions in Python. Okay, let's start. If name equals Ola, we will print hi Ola. Elif name equals Sonia, print hi Sonia, and else print hi anonymous. Now it's time to save and check how our program runs in the console. We go back to console and run once again. Python free, Python intro. Uh oh, there is an error. But as I already said it, errors are your best friends. So let's take a look. It says that in line 10, we forgot to add argument to function hi. It even gives us name of the argument. That's awesome. Let's fix it then. We go back to console and run once again. Congrats, you just created your very first function that takes argument and makes something meaningful with it. But let's go one step further. Let's say we always want to say hi and the name of the person. Let's delete the body of the function with this complicated if statement and write instead print hi plus name plus exclamation mark. And then let's call it with some other name, for example, Rachel. Let's save the file and run it in console. Python free, Python intro. It printed correctly, hi Rachel, as we wished. Now it's time to experiment a little bit more. What if we want to write some mathematical function? We could create a function that calculates area of the square. We can add a function in the very same file. Under definition of hi, we'll type def area, so the name of our function, then in parentheses we will provide the argument, the input. In this scenario it will be side of the square. Then in the body of the function we will print side multiple side. So mathematical formula of the area of the square. Now we could call the function with different length of side of the square. For example area with argument 2 or area with argument 4. Let's remove calling hi too. We don't want it displayed for now. Let's save the file and go back to the console. Let's type python3 python intro and we got values of area of square with side 2 and 1 with side 4. The last thing I want to show you is returning values. So far our functions were just printing values on the screen. But what if the value is more important and we want to use that to some further calculations? For this very reason, we have a keyword return. Let's modify our aria function and instead of print site multiple site, we will replace it with return site multiple site. Now let's save the file and run it in the console. Nothing is displayed. Of course, we did not print anything here, but we could do it in the moment we call the function. Let's change aria two into print of aria of two. Now we are printing the thing that function aria returns to us. When we run the now the script, we will get four printed. Okay, let's go one step further. Let's store the value that is returned from the aria function in a variable called small square aria and use this value as an argument to the aria function again, so we will get big square aria. Let's type small square aria variable and assign the value returned from calling aria function on argument 2. Then in big square aria variable we will store the result from aria called with argument small square aria. And finally we will print big square aria. Now let's save and run it in the console. Python free Python intro. That's correct. This is super exciting. Now you can write as many functions as you want and use the values returned from them to run in other functions. For example, what you could do is write one function that is taking the name and make all the characters in your name capitalized and return it and then use the result of that into your hi function. So in the end, you will say hi and the name that will be capitalized. 
functions are very important in computer science and they are not easy to write. But with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you will very soon know how to write nice functions. And you already know the basics. Next thing I want to show you is also super exciting. It's loop. This is something that gives us even greater control in our program. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you!